a little bit better. So, uh, <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Plon 6. So, Plon 6 is basically a CMS system, which is uh, developed in Python with the help of JavaScript. And um, I would like to show you how you can set it up. Uh, the machine that we are going to use is uh, CentOS, uh, not CentOS, Fedora 37 release. And uh, basically, uh, what I did as preparation is to set up the Docker on this machine because uh, Plon 6 uh, needs Docker to run properly. After Docker is installed, uh, we should be able to use the Docker PS as our regu regular user. And uh, what we would like to do is to use the dash and pip install cookie cutter. And yeah, it is installed. And after the package is installed, what we have to do is to create our bash profile file if it's non-existent. And after the bash profile file is created, we have to use the curl command to download uh, the install.sh. And what we would like to do is to source our bash profile and use the nvm dash dash version. And as you can see, NVM was installed to my user profile. And the NVM install 16 command should complete. It is going to install node on the machine. And it will allow us to install dependencies, uh, which are needed by Plon 6. And uh, once the node installation is complete, we should be able to issue the node-v command. We have the 16.19.0 and we use the npm install dash g y o. And this is the yeoman uh, package from node. And uh, it's a scaffolding tool similar to Plone's Mr. Bob or Zobskel. All right, and after that, we will also have to install Yarn. And Yarn is going to be our basically web server, which uh, provides the fr front end. And um, we will also need to have make on our system available. So make, all right. So once, uh, 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 the yeoman is installed. We will install yarn. So npm install yarn at one. And once the yarn is installed, we should be able to use the dash v. Mm -hmm. And no, I don't want to install it. <clears throat> All right. Now we should create uh, my project folder and navigate inside there. And we use cookie cutter, which is a Python package to install from this GitHub link. And we leave these on default. This allows you to uh, basically configure the Plone 6 project that you want to use. And uh, this is just going to be a demonstration. So there is not really too much need for anything to change here. All right, English is good, collective is good, Docker is good. And as you can see, Python, Node, your Docker and Git are available. And what it's going to do is to install first the Volto frontend. 
and uh, after that it is going to generate front-end application and then what we have to do is to uh, navigate to the project uh, title folder which comes from here and it should make help and make install and uh, yeah so format generated code in the backend and 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 we are almost there that's the backend code base and it should be done any minute No, sorry for the convenience, the clone community. So we navigate to the project title. And this should make help. And then we can issue the make install. And after the make install completes. We are almost ready to go. Mm -hmm. Now it is working. And um, we have two separate commands that we have to use. One is the start backend and then the start frontend and these both are needed for Plone to be fully functional. And after the installation completes and succeeds, we would like to start the front end first and no, sorry, the back end first and after that the front end. It has quite some dependencies. So let's wait for it to complete. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and it was downloaded. All right. And um, since we have a front end and a back end server, what we have to do is to maintain two separate shell sessions. So basically, if you want to set it up as production, you would not run it from the shell, but rather use a service to run it. But for the demo, we will need to have to separate uh, shells open. So once the installation completes, hmm. let's wait. And uh, Plone also has a REST API, which allows you to basically uh, use that API to manage your CMS system. Do I have the Chromium installed? Yes, I do. So we will use Chromium. I've noticed a strange issue. So this is the Fedora 37. And when I start Firefox, I cannot see any text here. So only I can only see the graphics. 
and the buttons and I can click them and do whatever I want but I do not see any text and if I navigate to the google.com I have these blank pages maybe it's the VMware workstation driver I don't know I'm using quite an old one Maybe it's time to upgrade. All right. So it's still installing. You know what would be nice? I mean, if we have a uh, basically a <coughs> solution which uses multiple dependencies then it would be nice to see the overall progress of the setup because this way we are only able to see that it is still installing downloading installing downloading whatever but uh, you cannot really grasp as to how much time is needed for this to be completed. Oh, Python H. All right. So I think there is something which also has to be installed. Yum install Python 3 devil. And this should provide uh, development headers for Python. So once the installation of the headers is complete, the build should not give us any errors. So let's do this make install. Mm -hmm. It should be faster because these are already downloaded. So let's hope for a quicker finish. Mm -hmm. So basically, if you don't have the development packages installed, it is missing from the documentation as well. Anyway. Let's see. Wow. So many Chromium processes. <laughs> All right, now we are at the building phase, so we don't see the error with the missing python.h files. So it should be doable, but we will see. All right, during the installation, we will get a prompt which says that need to install MRS developer and we should OK and proceed. This will go out, download these. Oh, yarn command not found. Yum install. Hold on, yarn. Alright, then try to install yarn package. Mm 
All right, we will continue once it's installed. All right, now we should try the make install. So make install. All right. Let's wait for it to finish. So once the um, front end and the back end are both started, we will be greeted on the login page with this. And if we go to the login and issue the admin, admin, and go further, you will see that this is the interface that we can use and here we can edit this uh, post and we have multiple language options and ways to format it and uh, after saving it it is like getting published we also have the option to store files we can go back to the home page and we can also set up sharing so anyone who logs in is able to see this information we have a uh, fine grain uh, tuning of this information and basically this is how you can set up this solution see you in the next one